What's up, YouTube? Okay, I've uh, got a interesting battle for tonight up against my favorite uh, tier of Pokemon. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, let's uh, do a question of the day. Now, um, as I can see, there's a Kangaskhan in there. I don't really know what it's going to be. Um, so, what is your favorite uh, Mega Evolution Pokemon um, in this gen? Um, I myself am not a huge fan of Mega Evolution Pokemon at all, really, but... Um, it's just a question, I guess, uh, for you to answer. And if I had to pick one, I'd probably, I'd probably pick Mega Agron. That's probably the one that looks most better to me. That's uh, just my personal opinion, though. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Go for it. Um, I'd like to see which one's the most popular one. Also, if you enjoyed this vid, please leave a like on it. That'd be uh, awesome. So, um, look at this battle. I, I didn't have much time to uh, do many battles in the last day or so, so I just... Uh, I, had. I can't remember when I had this one, but um, it was recently. So I'm not really sure what their name says in Japanese, but um, yes, so, so I apologize for that one, but um, <laughs> I cannot read Japanese. So um, I'm going to have a tough time with this team anyway, so I thought it'd be best just to leave with um, my Pillars one this um, time. And I had a pretty good matchup as well, so I thought, oh, this is good. I can get a Stealth Rock up here. And I'll leave you guys for Vault Switch there. I'm not too sure what, why the hell he did that. Maybe my Maybe my nickname put him off, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, they're going to swap their um, Thunderous out. Um, so I get rocks up, which is good. So in comes Azumarill. Um, this thing's going to pretty much um, destroy me. So I just thought, well, I'm going to go for a Raw, definitely, because I knew Thunderous couldn't do a lot to me at all. And now comes the Garchomp. So I'm getting good switches uh, all the time. So I can just go straight for Ice Shard here and uh, get some nice damage on Garchomp there. I nearly take it out, which is good. It lives out like a little bit of health. Uh, it's going to go for the Earthquake. That's not going to do much to me because I'm really bulky in defense with Everlight. This thing's a um, major tank as well. It's got good offense as well and priority. It's a great little lead. I highly suggest it. So back into Azuma again, probably like Waterfall or something like that. So um, I'm just going to get a nice shot off, get a little bit of damage on it, um, rack it up a bit, um, and uh, switch the hell out of there pretty much. Uh, so... Uh, into my Dust Snore now to tank any of these sort of uh, physical hits. I'm going to freeze what his item. It's got a Citrus Berry. Uh, so I was thinking maybe one of those like Belly Drum ones. Uh, it's going to go for Aqua Jet. Doesn't do much to me at all. Um, Dust Snore pretty much laughs at the damage this thing does. Um, so uh, there's not much he can really do. I mean, he could have gone for Play Rough, I guess, but they still would have just Will O Wisp it, uh, which I was going to do. But he's going to go to Heatran, uh, suspecting my Will O Wisp. So good play getting uh, the Flash Fire on his Heatran. Now I was thinking, oh, crap, I'm going to get hit really, really hard by like a Fire Blast if this thing is carrying it. Even a Flamethrower is really going to hurt. So I sort of have to watch uh, what I do with my Dust Knot here because he's going to be pretty handy in this battle, just blocking all those physical walls and stuff like that. So I really needed to get uh, Heatran out of the way or something like that because he can sort of block all my will o -Wisp and stuff. So I just went into uh, Pillars 1 here. Um, I didn't really have much to swap into there. And Pillars 1 really has done uh, everything that he needed to really do in this battle. So I think I would just go for Earthquake here to get some uh, nice damage against it. And uh, it was odd that he used Toxic. I found, I found that pretty strange. Um, and it sort of led me to think that it might be like a support Heatran, um, like Stealth Rocks, that kind of stuff. Um, so, and he even swapped on there as well, which was odd too. Uh, so I'm going to go for Earthquake there. It's going to have um, no effect on Thunderous. But I wasn't too um, worried about this because I could go for an Ice Shard at the same time, do some damage. But he's going to swap again and um, at the cost of some more health on that Thunderous. And going to Cresselia. Now Cresselia is a freaking beast and I knew that I couldn't do much to it at all. And um, yeah, I was dying to Toxic at this point. I'm like, I don't really care what happens to Pillars 1 now. I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Pretty he may swap again. But in case he doesn't, um, I'm going to get wrecked. And it doesn't really matter because um, he didn't swap after all. Okay, um, so I'm going to go down to Toxic Damage. I wanted a fresh swap in anyway. And Pillars 1 did some good work there anyway. And would have been nice to keep him for that Thunderous. But what the hell um, happens. So I know that I can get a free switch here on my uh, Leveny Because this thing's going to... Run away from all those bomb hooks. Uh, I just went for Sword Dance here, just in case he brought something in else other than that Heatran. I'm trying to sort of lure it out as well. Um, the problem with Levin, it doesn't really have uh, much recovery to hit steel at all. So I was in a little bit of a uh, situation here uh, where I couldn't really do much. Even with a plus two, it would be doing nothing. So I was forced to sort of swap out as well. 
uh, here. Now I was expecting like what flamethrower, fire blast, something like that. So I just went into my uh, Kangaskhan here to uh, sort of tank those hits. But it, oddly, it goes for Will O' Wisp instead. So I was sort of right. It has Toxic and Will O' Wisp, which is really strange because um, that's quite unusual for Heatran to have both of them. I mean, normally it has one. Um, I was thinking maybe it's got Substitute as well, and that could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, so I think I just went for Circle Throw here to uh, Circle Throw his Heatran out of there, get some damage and get some more Stealth Rock damage on it as well. Uh, but Cresselia comes in, so that's good. I don't want to deal with this thing. I could probably set up Calm Minds all day on me, and I won't be able to do much than just uh, Circle Throw it out, uh, which is good. I like having that move because I can't be set up on. Okay, uh, so into Kangaskhan. So two Kangaskhan's on the film. I'm like, oh, here we go. It's going to be Mega Kangaskhan for sure. Um, yeah, there wasn't a lot I could do to this either, since I was sort of burned and stuff like that. I thought, Ugh, well, I'm going to get hit by it very hard for Mega Revolves, and then does like fake out, power up, punch, and completely set up on me. So I thought, let's go into Dust Nord because I know that I can uh, tank those hits a little bit better. I might be able to get a Will O' Wisp off as well. So I frisked out as Kangaskhan Knight, of course, it's got that. But it's going to go for a power up punch uh, without Mega Revolving, which is interesting, and uh, gets an attack boost there. Hits me because it's scrappy, uh, obviously. Um, doesn't do a lot to me, but um, like I was thinking, well, if it gets really confident and stays in and Mega Evolves, then does that again, I can will o -Wisp, but it's not going to, and it's going to go back into the Heatran again to get another Flash Fire. Now, it hasn't really made use of a Flash Fire very much this battle at all. Um, I was sort of I was sort of tempted to go for that, but I thought, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to go into Heatran. And I double switched there to go into Basculin to predict his Heatran swapping, which is good, because uh, now I have control of this swap, and he is going to have to swap here. Uh, as well, so it's all in the Pokemon's all in the predictions. Okay, uh, so I just went straight for a waterfall here. I knew even if the Azumarill came in, it would take Stealth Rock damage plus abandoned waterfall to the face, and that's not going to hurt even if you resist it um, as well. So that does nice damage there. I'm really happy with that. Um, but I forgot about that I had that Citrus Berry. So at least I burnt the Citrus Berry. That was really good. Um, like no surprises later on or anything, and uh, too low to do like a Belly Drum or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to have to sort of swap out because I don't want to get hit really hard by like play rough or something like that. But I'll let you guys for uh, Aqua Jet. Uh, maybe thinking that I'm going to go for a, like a waterfall again and take it out so it may like get a little bit more damage before it dies. Um, but I didn't really want to sacrifice my Basculin at the moment really. Okay, so this time I went for Will-O-Wisp um, but of course the Heatran's going to come in again so this thing just likes swallowing my Will-O-Wisps. Hmm. But... I always knew it was going to come with that, so I went for Nightshade and got some damage off, which is good. Um, so pretty much, uh, I could just guess what he was going to do with his Heatran, swapping it into my Dustnor, and get some damage off with Nightshade. Now, at the moment, I still wasn't sure whether he had, like, a attacking move, so he used Stealth Rock this time. So he had uh, will o -Wisp, Toxic, and Stealth Rock, so that's three status moves, and I was like, damn, this guy must have one, like, he must have one attacking move. Is it Earth Power? Like, is that the reason? I'm not, I'm not sure. And, um, like, I held, held it know what was going on. This is, a, like, a crazy set. Normally, it's got, like, Substitute or something like that. Um, which will still work pretty well um, in this Gen 2. Uh, so, he's going to hit me with Toxic, which I sort of half saw coming uh, there. I'm just going to continue to go for Nightshade, get more damage off on Heatran. Um, it's fixed damage, which is good, and I can sort of stop him swapping into any more future Will-O-Wisps or anything like that. And uh, Toxic would take a couple of turns to rack up as well, since it's only sort of just started. Okay, now, um, I just went for Nightshade again here. I was half expecting the Kangaskhan to come back in to sort of sponge that and um, Mega Evolve on me, which um, sort of did happen there. But I couldn't really risk him staying in and using like Fire Blast or something and me taking like really, really heavy damage. So I just went for it. That was sort of my reasoning there. Um, at this point in the battle. Um, so he's going to... I was thinking he may Mega Evolve there, but he's going to swap out again and go back to the Heatran uh, to take the will o -Wisp again to sort of get some more damage on me at the cost of Stealth Rock damage. I, like, I wasn't really bothered because he still was getting Stealth Rock damage, and yet he didn't actually show that he had a fire move that was really, really strong. Um, like Fire Blast. I would have been scared if he was carrying Fire Blast. So at this point I thought, well, he's definitely going to use Fire Blast now. He's got his Flash Fire Boost, and I'm going to get here really, really hard because I am a more of a defensive dust snore here. And I've got that toxic damage racked up nicely, so I'm definitely going down uh, this turn. But he withdraws again, which is really strange. I'm like, the fuck? What's going on here? 
Um, so back into Garchomp. So clearly he's just sort of stalling me out. And um, I went for Shadow Sneak because I thought he may go for that Fire Blast. So that's alright, I got Garchomp down. Um, it was sort of a strange swapping. But he had Rough Skin and I got hit by Poison. So it's clear he doesn't really have a lot of moves to hit me. Uh, on his Heatran, which is odd. Maybe it only has Earth Power. I was thinking, I was like, that's really, really strange. Um, don't you have Earth Power? I'd probably choose to have at least Flamethrower or something like that. So my Toxic... Anyway, my Toxic Damage is quite racked up now, so... Uh, Heatran comes in again, which is strange. So I'm like, what move is this thing got? It was like... It's like... Is it like... Is it... I was thinking Lava Plume at the end, and it's like, ah, I see. So it's a full status sort of... It's a full status sort of Heatran with, with Will-O-Wisp and Lava Plume and Toxic. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a, that's like a, a major status set. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go into Basculin here. I pretty much control uh, this swap in, so he can't do anything. I'm just going to go straight for Aqua Jet here, just in case. Um, and uh, I'm going to take that out. There, so that's the troll Heatran out of the way. Man, that was, that was strange. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, so into... Thunder again with that stealth rock damage. I'm really liking that because this thing has terrible defenses and it's weak as shit in defense. And easy will go down to my Aqua Jet. And um, yes, no thunder for, thunderbolt for you or Volt Switch or anything like that. Okay, um, so into Azuma again. Excuse me. I uh, had the stealth rock damage. I thought, oh, what the hell? Let's just go for Aqua Jet. Get some damage on it. Who gives a shit? Um, so yeah, I knew it'd be a two-hit KO and. Um, just in case it sort of predicted me to swap my stadium, so what the hell. Uh, sort of sacrificed my Bascal in there, but I didn't really care. It was cool. I had my Manta still. Uh, so, I knew that, um, like, I might have a chance of um, going for Felstinger here. I knew that he had Aqua Jet because he knew that he would get, like, outsped. So, uh, this was my chance to get a boost in my attack. So, Felstinger hits, but it doesn't quite kill. I'm like, damn. Uh, that low base power and resistance sort of let me down there. Um, once again, he is not going to outspeed me, so he has to go for Aqua Jet again to get some damage off. Uh, which was my saving grace, because I could uh, go for another Felstinger here and get my boost, which turned out absolutely perfectly uh, there. I could have gone for a Sword Dance as well, but what the hell, that was way more fun. Uh, okay, so I got my um, my boost there from Felstinger. I'm life orbed as well. Um, so I'm doing some fair damage. Uh, okay, so we got this Kangaskhan. I knew that it may make a evolve here and just go for like fake out. So I thought, well, I had a fun run with my Leveny anyway. It was cool. Um, uh, a lot of the time, sometimes I've seen Mega Kangaskhan's without fake out as well, which was in this case um, sort of replaced with like a different move, like a dark move to hit Ghost. So that must be what that Kangaskhan set was. No fake out. Um, so that was good, that was that abomination down, and the last pokey was the Cresselia, uh, which is uh, a freaking bitch, because it's got so big a defenses, and I was really, really glad to take this out with Leveny, because that's perfect, and uh, Stab will easily take that one out. And I'm going to go down to the Rocky Helmet, obviously life all damage there, but I got past the Cresselia, and that was good, and um, I had some fun against these OU folks. And uh, that Heatran, damn, that had me mindfuck the whole battle. Anyway, um, thanks uh, for watching this video, guys. And um, question of the day, uh, what is your favorite Mega Evolution? Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Please leave a like on the video. Once again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace out.